Hello to all the cool junk journal kids out there, and thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I am going to be creating a junk journal, and this is going to be part one of I don't know how many, but keep watching because I pretty much put out a junk journal video every single day. So if you do enjoy junk journal uh, type related content, please do subscribe and you can uh, follow me and be part of the cool kids community. Welcome everybody who's here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Emily. Welcome. So uh, I'm going to be making a junk journal today. Well, not today, but like I said, this is part one. <laughs> I'm going to make it a junk journal from this hard book cover from Reader's Digest that I got. I think I got it for $150 because if it was $299, I'm sure I got it on sale. So it was $150. So let's get this freaking price off here because I didn't even realize that was on there. So I'm going to try and do something a little bit different with the cover. Hopefully it goes well. Hi, Lori. Y'all know sometimes things don't go well for me, but that's okay. Okay, so last time I made a junk journal from this book cover or from this type of book cover. Let me get it for you. Um, I had this issue with the spine. So last time, this is a Reader's Digest book also. I haven't sent this out to the person who bought it. But last time I made this cover, this uh, junk journal from a uh, Reader's Digest, the spine kind of like collapsed. I don't know. You see the spine? This is the same exact book size. And once I covered it with fabric, the spine kind of shrunk. So I'm like, what? <laughs> what happened? Because I felt like the journal should have been a lot thicker than just, you know, I thought it could have held a lot more than just these two signatures, but the spine kind of shrunk. So, to fix that, I think I'm going to, this is a piece of a game board uh, box cover, so it's pretty, it's really thick chipboard. So, I think I'm going to glue this right here. I've already cut it to the size of the spine. So I think I'm going to put it there on the spine. Hey, Dakota. Welcome, everybody. Vicky and Lori and Emily's here. And I think that's going to fix my issue. I think. Um, but I think I might want to. What do I want to do with this? Oh, it'll be fine. Because I'm wondering, like, am I going to be able to see this? But I'm going to cover that with fabric, too. Okay. So let me glue this down just so this can dry overnight. And, of course, I've already cut out the book pages. Uh, I did that when I did my book cover page week. It was probably this book right here. <laughs> it's probably this book right here, exactly. Just rip it out really easily, especially if it's a Reader's Digest book. I should have put Reader's Digest book in the, co in the title. Okay, I'm going to fix that. Okay, so let's get this glue down. And the glue that I'm using... And the glue that I always use, uh, well, have been using. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hi, Patricia. Is the Turbo Tacky Glue from Eileen's. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Okay, so we get a lot of glue here. I really want this to hold, right? Okay, so. And let me get a brush out. So that I can just kind of flatten the glue out a little bit. I think only the middle part's gonna have glue anyways. I don't think this side part's gonna have glue. Okay, so let's glue this down here. Just to give it more stability on that spine because I wanna have more space. I don't want it to be so close. So that should work. Hola, chiste. Voy a hacer un libro. Okay, so. There's the book. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. Welcome. So, okay. So today, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to work on the cover, obviously. So I need to make sure that I have enough space on my fabric. I'm going to be covering the book with fabric that I'm about to do a lot of stuff to. I have a lot of plans. I got some new laces in the mail today from uh i bought them from somebody who offered me keisha was her name i think keisha um so i got some new laces to play with so i think i'm going to use these for this cover and we'll see what we what happens because i'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with that so maybe it'll be different i don't know <laughs> i'm not sure i literally just 
came up with this two minutes before I went live and I didn't even get a chance to try it because I was actually going to do something else, but then I decided oh, I should do this. So the other day I made this, right? I made this cover with a bunch of fabric scraps that I sewed all sorts of different ways. And then today I did this. I'm like, well, if I did this with fabric, I could probably do this with paper scraps. So I grabbed a bunch of the paper scraps that I've been working with making the embellishments. And oh, right here, uh, me queme. <laughs> Se me está quitando la costra, pero me queme. So <laughs> right here, um, oh, you mean right here? I don't know what you mean. I have a lot of cuts. Okay, so paper scraps here and I sewed them the same way with the zigzag down the middle and then I went in between and did like a squiggly stitch and this is backed on cardstock so I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep it like this I kind of like I kind of like it though but this is actually what I did what I was gonna do tonight but I'm like uh let's do something else hi Patricia thank you I'm sorry I was trying I need to, I need to let my hand recover a little bit um, I don't know exactly what's wrong with me, but my hands have been so weak lately. Like, even writing hurts. Maybe it's arthritis. I don't know. <laughs> like, even a writing on a book, a writing down notes really hurts. It's not cool. Okay, so let me... Okay, so I'm just using this really thin fabric that I got at Walmart for, like, super cheap. It's, like, really see-through. I highly doubt it's any sort of organic material. So... Let me see. I think this might be a little bit too wide. You don't want it to have more than like an inch and a half or two inches off to the sides. So let me cut this. And I haven't bought my new scissors yet. So, uh, okay, here we go. Has possibilities. What are you talking about? Okay, so hi everybody, welcome, welcome. Okay, so here is our cover, right? And let me mark, got these fancy pencils. Let me mark here the size of the cover. And this is gonna be all covered by design so you won't be able to see these pencil marks anyways. Let's see. Sorry, I'm like trying to concentrate on working. <laughs> I'm not even saying anything. <clears throat> Cause I'm gonna sew a bunch of lace on here. My idea is that I wanna make a lace book cover for this journal. Okay, so now I know that I need to at least so even beyond that so that way I have space to tuck in but not too much that's got the design on it okay so my light might be too bright to show this <laughs> this is a white piece of fabric and I've already marked out my book uh, size as well as the outside space that I need to actually sew the lace on to the cover so, and then I've also put the chipboard piece here in the middle of the book so that it stabilizes it and I don't have to worry about my freaking inside of this melting away. Uh, okay, so I have a bunch of lace, right? I don't actually sew on the side that I wrote on. I want to sew on the back of that. So I got this bunch of lace. I'm trying to figure out. I think I'm going to work from bottom to top. It's basically going to be like a ruffled lace uh, cover. So I got a bunch of lace and let's use it up. Why not? Hi Dale. Okay, so I want it to be even a, not on here, I kind of want this to be down here. So maybe I'll put something else here. Um, maybe I'll put some of this pink lace down. Let's 
Hello, Kelly. Welcome, everybody. Oh, I should have used a flat, something flat, though, so that way that's not a problem. Because I don't want the scalloped edge to, like, go around. I want it to be shown, so that's why I'm, like, having a problem right now. Mm, that might be too big. Maybe this one right here. How is this even put on? What am I not? A, how did you wrap this, girl? Jeez. Nobody's touching your lace. Oh, my goodness. It's wrapped around so tight. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I am the worst. I can't keep... I can't have anything nice, I swear. Okay. Whew. A bunch of this stuff came off. Okay. Okay, so... I think I'm going to put this yellow lace down across here. And that way that's outside the bounds that I need. This lace might not even show, but hey, it's okay. And that can go there. And I'm kind of trying to plan it out. I need to see how much lace I need. And I'm wondering what thread I should use for this journal. I don't even know what thread color I should use. Should I use like a light pink? Hey, Lynn. Should I use like a light pink? Should I use beige? What should I do? I don't even know. What do you guys think? What color thread should I use with this? Because I was going to use black, but I always use black. So I don't know if I should use a beige or a light pink or a dark pink or I could, I don't know. What do you guys think? Beige? Laurie says beige. What do y'all think? Mm. I once made a journal card like, oh, not a journal card, uh reading card like this. It was a bunch of scalloped. I used to like to do that. A bunch of laces. I used to just glue them down, of course. But now, you know, I do a little extra now. Uh, cream color says Emily. Luxury card store says pink. If you want the stitches to show, then use a darker thread. What colors are you using in the lace? Probably pale pink or beige. I don't even know. I'm about to pull out a bunch of stuff right now. Because I just see this is... I don't know if it's going to be enough because I need... Let me see. There's a silver lace here too. Let's see. Let's see. could use this silver here. Okay, I better start sewing before I just pile everything on <laughs> without getting it in order anyways. Okay, so let me start sewing this, but still don't know what thread to use. What? Let me see. So I think... Uh, Y'all know I have a bunch of color thread. Maybe I'll use, I could use like a light teal blue. That'd be cute, let me see. It's almost, it's like a baby, like Tiffany blue almost. That'd be a cute, um, that'd be a cute contrast. Hello, JJ with Joy. Hello, welcome. I think I want to use this because I think it might be... It might have nice contrast without being too much in your face color. And I think I have two of these bobbins, so that'd be nice. Okay, put the 
the bobbin in. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, and my sewing machine is the Brothers Project Runway. Uh, limited edition CE1125PRW. So let's go ahead and get this bobbin on here. And, okay. We'll get this baby threaded up and then we will get working. It could have been either this or a baby pink. Would have been cute too. But I think I like this one. You chose the thread based on your mood. <laughs> well, I'm feeling this Tiffany blue almost. It's almost Tiffany blue, but it's very, very light. So you have to look at the whole roll to look at the color, really. Otherwise, you might mistake it for baby blue. It is definitely more of a Tiffany color. I don't know if you're allowed to say that. <laughs> Um, maybe I'm not allowed to say that. Okay, so let me put, because of yesterday, I know I need to put the tension maybe at 7 for it to work on fabrics. I'm not no professional or anything at this at all. I'm just a hobbyist, you guys. <laughs> So maybe I might do something wrong. I don't know. It's possible. Okay, so I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. And I'm going to use uh, the length of two. And again, I'm not going to pull it because I know that that creates tension and it'll create rouging. Which is not a look I want to go for. I'm just kind of placing it there. I'm trying to sew down the middle. I don't even think this part's going to show, but I don't know. Hang on, I'm moving off center now. Let me fix that. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so did that work out okay? We are gonna need a straight stitch down over here, down the side of it, so it doesn't lift up. I don't want it to. So let's do a straight stitch and we're gonna use the longest length possible you need a sewing machine that loads 10 different color threads you know what they have um i just got uh <clears throat> i was just gifted these right here aren't these cool so i guess they're multi-colored threads so they have all sorts of colors in them and one thing i haven't used it yet but isn't that cool I'm going to make sure and use this one day. These are super cool. That's probably what you're looking for. Might be better than a crazy machine. <laughs> yes, variegated thread. There you go. I only know the word variegated because in succulents, sometimes they're variegated, and that means they have, like, different colors in them. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I did. I cut the threads back there, I think. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> I'm a I'm a I'm a rogue crafter. <laughs> okay, let me get this here. I just wanna make sure that the tips stay. I might have pulled it. Let's see what happens. Okay, straight stitch bunches, but you can just spread it out. And it's okay. <laughs> Just spread it out. And it's all good. I'm definitely going to have to um, iron this for sure. 
Okay, so why don't I just use a straight stitch the whole way? Okay, so the next one I was going to use was this one. Ugh, I just pulled the thread out. Okay, so let's see. This part, I want it to cover part of that part of that lace right there. Hi, Tammy. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so. Somebody left me a comment and they said, I like how you say, here we go before you sew. And I was like, do I do that? And then I was like, oh my God, I do. <laughs> I'm like, what? When did I say that? But I totally do that. <laughs> Just gotta get yourself rubbed up, I guess. <laughs> okay, I think it bunched up because I was going too fast and maybe possibly pulling on it. Perhaps. Because right now that I'm going slow, it's not bunching up. <laughs> I was going too fast. Yeah, I know. You're right. You're right, Kelly. I know. I know. Even though April said it broke on hers. April from Pink Odd Bird, she told me. She said it broke on hers. I don't know. I don't know. Let me do another line. Here. I guess I'm just going to use a straight stitch for this lace. <laughs> kind of works a little bit better. Move all these laces out the way. Gotta go slow. I need to uh, look up how to use the two needle because I have a. Of uh, this little attachment that I can put on um, this that makes it two needles instead of one, but I never bothered to learn how to thread it. <sighs> I need to do that too. That's another thing I need to do. And I just pulled it out again. I don't know what it is. I think it's this thread because I never had problems with thread before coming out so you can see it's very faint the color and you can probably see it more in person the color of this um thread here but it leaves that nice and let me thread it again <laughs> i don't know if you saw my tongue oh my god gross <laughs> gross Ugh. Here we go. <coughs> okay. Get it together. All right. So the next one I was going to put down, I believe, was this pink one. And... Uh, let me get some water. I'm thirsty. Mm. Okay, we're going to lay it down right here. Yeah, I realized my freaking banner only says 9 p.m. And I said I was going to fix that. And I just haven't. Oh, my God. I'm the worst. What is all this? What is happening? <sighs> okay. You know how I feel about these threads, you guys. And it's not just that I think they look ugly. It's just that they'll mess up your sewing machine. Or they'll mess up your sewing, I should say. Not your sewing machine. But they mess up my sewing. Because they get caught and... And it's annoying. 
So I know it's a look, but I'm not into that look because it's just impractical. Oh, I got my little foot on the edge. Oops. I'm over here. Sorry. <laughs> if you cut your thread, let's see. I wonder if you adjusted the feed dogs just a bit, it would help the puckering. I don't know what that means, girl. Make sure we're over here. Let's see, got excited yesterday, made a journal like yours. <laughs> Like your six, and I saw the signature in Upside Down. Girl, it happens to everybody. I can't tell you how many. <laughs> I have one journal that is, like, all ready to go, but one of the signatures is Upside Down, and I'm just like... <sighs> I mean, it happens to everybody, but, I mean, it's good practice. <laughs> That's why I check, like, 20,000 times now. Okay, so that went good. And definitely this puckering here was bad, but now it's gotten better. Now that I went slower, much better, much better. Okay, so let me do another one just because I did two here. So I think I kind of want to make it the same. I think it might be a good look. Let's go slow. Trying to make it even, trying to make parallels. Trying to keep my eye on this little notch right here. Because that's where this other line's supposed to go. Keeping an eye on that. Okay, now I'm over it. Okay. <laughs> That's even better when I go like that. It kind of really does spread it out a little bit. Okay, look at that. Oh, <laughs> I'm not even showing you. Okay, so that looks real cute now, real cute. So now, what was the next piece of lace I was going to put? I think that's all I had. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I had this. I had this to sew. And then this was going to be on top. Okay. Hi, Adeline. Welcome. Okay, let me see what side. Okay, here we go. Okay, stop saying that, Daisy. <laughs> like, ever since they said, like, that person commented that, I was like, oh, man. I've kind of been, like, more aware of it. <laughs> Not that it's like a bad thing or anything, <laughs> but that kind of like annoyed me <laughs> that like I do that. <laughs> okay, so let's do a line right here. Make sure it's in alignment to where I want it to be. Again, don't pull it because you will, it'll pucker even more. 
But even when I did pucker on my other uh, journal, it looked fine once I sewed it down. I mean, um, ironed it down. It didn't look bad at all. Okay. Hey, Tiffany. Look at me, I'm making a skirt, girl. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yo, my straight stitch has gotten so good. I'm so freaking proud of myself. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's going to need another line down here because I kind of don't want it flapping out out of the way. Let me do another line there. Normally it'd be okay, but since this fabric, since this lace is like shorter, mm, I don't want you to be able to see that. So let me put this down. Hi everybody, sorry for falling asleep. Uh oh, Kayla. <laughs> uh oh. How could you fall asleep with this action packed adventure video? <laughs> it's action packed. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay, that's better. Now you won't be able to see the lace underneath. Well, not that much. At least it's not going to lift up. Okay. So that was necessary there. So now, let me do another line here. Let me do it the other way. This way is much easier to follow. Shorten your stitch a little when you get to the end and corner and sew back the other way. Huh. I'm trying to figure out what you're saying. Shorten your stitch a little when you turn. You think I should shorten the stitch? I guess I never tried that. I try it. Um. Because default is at half of what I do. So, and that just works with paper. So, that's what I was doing with the sewing. But maybe that was the problem. Maybe. Okay, so I want to do another layer of what, Daisy? Of what? Let me do another layer of some sort of pink. Let me see if I have any in my, in my drawer. Or in my scrap bin. Do I have any whole lace pieces? Oh my god, probably not. <laughs> probably. These are all little chunks. Little chunks. I have, I have this one. Ugh! <laughs> now I'm trying to pull up from all the places. Let's see, what else do I have? Y'all know I gotta use up my scraps. Y'all know. Um, these are all, I need like bigger pieces. <laughs> this might be cute in this instance, but it might also be kind of annoying because it lifts. I don't want it to lift. I want everything to be kind of flat. No, but I have to, I do have different, cream cream beige colored white also I really need I bought a bunch of white lace so that I could dye it and then I never dyed it because because <laughs> that's what you do with stuff okay 
let's do this one because I always like this one. Ooh, this one's pretty too. I still have some of this, surprisingly. I don't know how I still have some of this. Oh, it's not long enough. Okay, so we have to use this one right here. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, I was supposed to put that silver one. Oh, gosh. Darn it. Okay, let's put the silver one. <laughs> let's put the silver one. Are you sewing them on a plain piece of fabric? Yeah, this is a plain piece of um, fabric. Sorry, I always have hair everywhere. Plain piece of fabric um, that I got from Walmart. It's, like, really sheer. You can probably see my hand underneath here. <laughs> It's really sheer, so it's really cheap. I highly doubt it's any sort of organic material. But it works for my covers, because I usually put stuff on top, or I'll even paint it. So it's okay. But I don't know if it would be good for anything else. <laughs> I don't think it would be. Let me figure out what side is the right side of this. There we go. It's this side. Um. <clears throat> crafting along with you as I'm finally finishing up this baby journal for my niece's baby shower on Sunday. Oh, how cool, Michelle. Make sure you post pictures on the Junk Journal Cool Kids Facebook group so we can all see it. I'd love to check it out. Okay, so I did shorten the stitch on this. I'm a little nervous, but here we go. Still going pretty slow. That does seem to be good. <laughs> it seems to be working. speed let's see okay let's see how that did hey Keisha yep I did that's what I'm using to make my uh cover here I didn't um do it I didn't open it live but I'm making it Keisha I got my laces from Keisha she sent me this beautiful um, fabric. I really like this fabric, Keisha. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful. I need, my life needs to be covered in this fabric. <laughs> I need that fabric. Um, I guess it did pucker a lot less. And this is kind of billowy here. So we'll have to do another line here. Let's see how that works. I'm not sure. Let's do another line here. Okay. We should totally do a fabric swap. Ooh, fabric swap. I don't have my, well, I mean, I do have my bed sheets, but before that, I didn't have anything to swap out, so I've just been buying. <laughs> I don't have much to swap. So I'm trying to get these laces to lay straight and flat. That's the idea of what I'm doing right now. I'm sewing over them. Trying to make sure they lay flat. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Isn't that beautiful? It's really light pastel colors. So you probably can't really see them on camera because they're so light. Okay. They seem to work. Yeah, that did work. The smaller stitches. Okay, y'all know about fabric, I guess. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you. <laughs> Let me get this fancy lace down. Can do that. 
And then let's see what else, what other lace I have. Um, I love this lace, that's pretty thick, delicious. Let's see. Mmm, I don't think I've used this one yet, actually. Let's put some, let's put some Malayas. I'm packing for my three days of my crafty BSFs at a hotel. We are going to Scrapbook and Stamp Expo all day, Friday and Saturday. That sounds really cool, Pixie B. That sounds like a lots of fun. Okay. Let's do this there. So that'll go good there, and then, wait, and then we can put this on top. Right now we'll put this here, and then we can put another pink down, probably. Oops, 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 don't pull it off, no! <laughs> okay, so. This. Should I do this one? This might be too thick actually for the journal cover. Let me set that aside. I don't think this is gonna work. I think it's too thick. Oh, I do think it's pretty nice. Let's see. I'm just pulling out all my stash here. <laughs> now, what I like to do is I like to rip this. When they're kind of like, okay, see, so see this? I guess they're maybe meant for like a, you know, like at the bottom of a, of a skirt or something. So they're kind of gathered with tension with this thread at the top. But I just like to break it so that I just get a straight piece of lace. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't think I've used this lace since I've gotten it. This one's so pretty. Then oh, I should go down first. What did I say? Oh, we can put another one of these yellow ones down. Mm-hmm. I need to work on my nails. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice they're all chipped. <laughs> that and then maybe I could put this pink on that yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do okay so let's do this yellow oops this went on something uh what's a private Etsy shop I went to see what you have on Etsy and it says you moved here on private Etsy shop yeah, so basically, like I used to be on Etsy.com, and my items used to be, but now they are on what they call their pattern store. So I'm over at TsunamiRose.net. If you go to TsunamiRose.net, you'll be redirected to my private Etsy store. So you're still on Etsy. It's just only my store, so it, you have to go to my URL in order to get there. It's not through Etsy technically, but I'm technically... <laughs> Technically, but technically not. So I guess this lace is old because it kind of has like yellow stuff coming off of it. That's cool. I'm cool with it. Let's sew these two together first. Don't want to stretch it. My bad. I was stretching it. Ugh. I so want to do a fabric cover and a fabric piece cover, but I don't have a sewing machine. I could probably do it by hand, but I wouldn't look as fun because I don't know how to do zigzag stitch. Well, I mean, uh, the way I learned how to make these was the technique was without a sewing machine. I'm just kind of addicted to a sewing machine now. You can definitely still make a junk journal cover from fabric without using a sewing machine. A lot of people like to use Fabri-Track.
These are all vintage laces. That's why it's like yellow. I get it. I get it. I'm into it. Okay, so now I love it. It's beautiful. So now Now let's do something more straight. Pull it apart a little bit. I did pull it there in the beginning. Ugh. My bad. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Gotta try and get it just right there. Just, oh my gosh. It's too much like real life sewing. <laughs> uh, Keisha says, Daisy, do you know that laces are vintage? Yes. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. I'm not, like, I'm not, I know stuff like that happens. I'm not mad at it at all. I was just saying, like, what's all this yellow stuff? Okay, so that looks good. And now let's do a pink. So pretty with these pastels. I'm really excited about this. So when I roll it, I mean, I guess I'll be okay with it. Could probably sew that down maybe a little bit more. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And I am going to back this with um, heat and bond. So there's that coming. Uh, let me do another line down the middle of this. Otherwise, it's going to be so pillowy and billowy. Isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, Dale, I don't even know what I said <laughs> to make you laugh, but that's cool. <laughs> I'm like. Yes, I'm loving it. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying, girl. I'm, tr I'm really trying to come up with these ideas. <laughs> I'm trying. Real hard, you guys. Real hard. <laughs> okay, so. Now I want to do this pink. And I probably should have... Um, or maybe I'll do the light pink again from this one. Just to continue on with the pastels because this one might be a little too hot pink. It's still pastel, but it might be a little too hot pink. I don't know. I don't know. I want to use this one. <laughs> where it's supposed to be. I'll have these little edges just touching that blue line so that way I know what I'm supposed to follow and where it's supposed to be at. Good, good. Okay, here we go. Keep, <laughs> keep saying that. <laughs> all, right, all right. Here. We're taking off. 
How about that? It's not here we go. Take off. <laughs> Something different. Right there. That looks so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. If you could touch this, I, I would make this into a pillowcase for myself. I would make this into a whole bodysuit. <laughs> Imagine a lace bodysuit made from <laughs> That'd be so ridiculous. Okay. And now, so you can hardly see the thread, but it, maybe it's because of my light, but it is like a Tiffany blue, like a pretty pastel Tiffany blue, I would say. And, oh yeah, I was going to do this piece of lace though, it's so beautiful. This will be the final piece actually, so that's good because it's nice and wide and it'll do the job. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. And we'll do this thread. I'm going to sew this at the line of this one. Just kind of keep that stack effect going. Let me get some chapstick. Oh, my God. I can't talk. Okay. <laughs> Purple Paisley Planner, welcome. Welcome to the Cool Kids Crew. <laughs> Let's do one right here. I'm gonna have to do a lot of them on this one. <clears throat> so why? Well, we're pretty much done with the cover at this point. Well, I mean, we still have to um, we still have to put the backing on it. For the most part, the hard work is done on the cover. Just need to sew this big old piece down here. Did I just pull out the thread? Ah! Oh! <laughs> At least it's been a minute. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Get in there. Okay. Oh my god, and my wrist always makes a fart noise with the sewing machine. I swear to god, you guys, it's the sewing machine. And then, like, I try and do it myself, and it doesn't happen. I swear it's not me. <laughs> my sewing machine hates me. Right? It made a little fart noise. <laughs> I just want you to know that that's not me. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Look at this. Okay, so let me make sure. Yeah, we're above where I need to be. But actually, I think I need to sew down even the edge here. So let me get a zigzag stitch for that, actually. Make it two points by, actually. Oh, I think it's the width, too. So let me do that. I just need to sew down this little lip because it's kind of on the part that's going to go around. So it needs to lay flat. So one moment.
Okay, that part puckered, but that's okay because that's going to go underneath. Okay. So now, you guys, this is what we have. It's the world's prettiest pillow cover you wish you had. <laughs> the pillow cover that everybody probably had in the 70s. I don't know. I wasn't born then. Okay. But I think it looks so pretty. The light blue. I, you can't really see it on camera, but I think it's a really nice contrast. And I think it's going to look so pretty. I can see this as a page with the different rows being pockets. Ooh. Yes, thumbs up for lace, you guys. Thumbs up for lace, please. Thank you. Okay. So, now let me get all this lace out the way so I can get my iron board and all that good stuff. Let me get Move on with the video, and we can let it rest. Okay, or oh, it's actually been an hour. Hmm. Huh. Nah. Yeah. Let me get the material back up on it at least. Minimum. We'll do that part. Did I still have all this lace? I'm so excited. I can make another one. <laughs> okay. So. Let me get my camera in position. I, th I don't think I need this light right now. I think it does me a disservice at this very moment. Let me get up high a little bit. Oop, my stomach. <laughs> I'm like, who? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to suck it in, you guys. Okay. So, the cover. And now we need to, um, of course, back it up with heat and bond. Of course, so we got my messy little mat. Yeah, I think it's bright enough in here that I don't need that top light, which is really weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, you guys. Okay, so, the M bond, where are you? Here it is. And I'm going to make more tags because I always have these extra pieces of uh, heat and bond. And of course, these are good for spines and everything, but they're also good for things like tags. It's good without the light. Okay, good. <laughs> I figured, I think I have like enough lights kind of pointed at me. And I don't want you to see the colors because I don't think you could see the colors before. Maybe now you could even see the, the thread color just a little bit, just faintly maybe. Very faint. Okay, I'll have to watch the rest later. Bedtime for me. Good night. Good night, Dale. Good night. Good night. Of course, none of this here matters, but it matters to me. <laughs> so let me just get all this cut off. Ugh. I was taking like, like an extra unnecessary 20 minutes just to cut off threads, I swear. Okay, so, well, this is pretty much going to be excess that's going to be rolled over pretty much going to be excess because I made sure that everything was kind of sewed out of this way, out of its way, so that it could be all covered in lace. This book is going to be all lace covered. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me get my heat and pot. Stop talking, Daisy, and get on with it. Okay, so let me get my heat and bond here. And I am actually going to make this the size of this whole fabric piece here. I'm getting a little bit underneath it. I really can't tell where I'm cutting, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm an expert, so it's okay. <laughs> and let's cut this right here. If it, I don't cut it straight, it's okay, because it's kind of like all the space that's going to be tucked in. <clears throat> and I cut it too big anyways. <laughs> expert. Okay. There we go. So let me get my iron. I totally forgot about my iron. <laughs> Let's 
totally forgot about my arm. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, I see it. Baby. Go to bed. Silly. I saw you fall asleep on the couch. I seen it. Go to bed. Ugh. Okay. So. Got my sewing. How am I sewing? My iron. My iron. Iron. Okay. I have to get some of that heat and bond. Yes, you do. And you know, I'm gonna have an affiliate link down below if you want to get it from Amazon. You can also get it from Walmart. That's where I got it from. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. Ugh, these hairs drive me crazy. I need to buy a lint roller. That's what I need. A freaking lint roller. I think it's my two jacket here. Okay. Um, yeah, he was resting his eyes. That's right. <laughs> he was very much resting his eyes. Very much so. <laughs> I could see that. I could see how that happened. <laughs> I'm like, what about it? Auto crack, 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 crackly. Then <laughs> what does auto crack correct at all? <laughs> That's the new Peter Piper. Pick the peck of pickled peppers. Okay. So, I, I don't know if it's hot enough, but I'm going to try it anyways, because I'm impatient. I think that's good enough. This iron gets really hot really fast. I think this is going to do the trick, but I need to put more glue in there. There we go. This is what I need right here. I don't think it actually glued. Okay. Let's get this to glue. And maybe I need a paper clip. Do I have a paper clip? I have this. This might work. These little hanger clips. Because I do need that to adhere. Good night. Mwah. Good night, baby. Be careful. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed soon. Mm -hmm. Myself. I just want to cover this. I'm just going to put this heat and bond material on this. And then I think that's it. Because this kind of has to dry. This cover here. Before I cover it. So let me just finish this here. And then that will be it for tonight. And we'll do part two tomorrow. At, you guys know it. 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We will be back for another live. We'll be continuing on working on this particular junk journal. But I just want to see the other side. I need to see this cover being done first before I'm like, okay, it's good. We're good to go. Let me do this first. I can't wait to see this cover. Oh, dang. I said I was going to iron it, and then I didn't iron it. That's the second time that happens to me. <sighs> Shame. Shame on me, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I think that's it. I think it's all ironed. I can see pretty much. You can see through it when you when it's done see right through it. See there's a wrinkle right there. I hope that's not my fault. Somebody told me how to get glue off this mat and I gotta watch that. I gotta read that comment again. <laughs> okay, we should be good. We should be good. Okay. Just do it a little bit more here. Oh no, it's puckering right here. Why is that puckering? Oh no, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. I don't know why it's puckering right there, but it's doing something. Let's see. Oh, we gotta let it cool down. I forgot. <laughs> I always touch it when it's hot. It's like pizza, you guys. You can't 
Gotta let it cool down a little bit. I always forget. Okay, so now it's cool down. Because <laughs> I kind of made it cool down. See, I didn't get the glue on there. Hang on. I pulled it off too soon. Oh my gosh. Let's see. I think I put too much heat on it. Okay, so let's let it cool down completely. <laughs> Uh, Laurie says, back to fussy cutting for me. I had to buy more days ephemeras, including both sets of word cards. Have been cutting all day. Wow, Laurie. That's a dedication. Okay, so this cover, y'all, is going to be so beautiful once it cools down. Let me unplug my, my iron before I hurt myself again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. And I don't know what the weather is like where you guys are at, but like today, like last week it was snowing in Las Vegas, last week. And then today it was like 70 degrees. It was so nice. It was so nice. It was, I opened my door. I like even took off my sweater. <laughs> but like, of course, it was snowing last week and now it's not. Now it's hot. Okay, so there we go. That's going to be my... Oh, I forgot that I didn't put the um, tissue paper behind it. So I need that ironing board again. That iron again. Um, Somebody told me, like, why don't I just iron this right here? Like, it already has the heat and bond. They said, why don't I just iron that to the book? Well, I can't get into these creases with the iron. So I don't know how that would even work. Maybe they figured something out I didn't. <laughs> I've, I've been doing it the way to Zoe Tofield told me to. That's why. I don't know. <laughs> Let me get my tissue paper. So I can glue this to it. Let me go get that tissue paper. Um, oh, I stepped on my fabric. Where is it? I had tissue paper. I had it. Okay. I actually use packing paper. So yeah, packing paper is cheaper. <laughs> so I started using that instead. But of course now it's like too big for this journal. And we'll just cover over. Ugh. Okay, okay. Let me do this. So that way tomorrow we can come back and cover the book and we can even Get the inside part done. I might feel like putting pockets in this one. Actually, pockets would be nice. I haven't done that since Christmas. And I feel like it's time. Okay, so let me cut this out to the size it's supposed to be because it's way too big. Of course. Okay, so this packing paper. <clears throat> We're gonna hear this whole sheet onto this cover. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Here we are going. And then y'all know I have to straighten it because that bothers me too if it's not straight. So I gotta straighten it too. <laughs> good night, Mary. Have a good night. Oops, Oops I just did that. Gosh darn it. Okay, okay, we're going. The only tissue paper I have actually has like confetti on it because I use it for my orders. <laughs> so I didn't want to use that. That's why I didn't use that one. Just putting it in all sorts of places. Okay, that is working and it's drying. Because Eileen's rocks. So yeah, I think that's going to be the fix for my signature problem for it collapsing. So I'm glad I did that. 
So now I have a nice solid book instead of like a soft, it almost had like a soft spine, but it had enough pages to fill up the whole space. So I don't know. Let's see. Thank you everybody for sticking with me here. We're almost done. I just have to straighten this piece out because that's going to bother me. And then tomorrow we'll cover it and make the inside cover. And I don't know what else we'll do tomorrow. I don't know what else I can do in an hour. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. Okay, so I think it's done. Yep, yep, yep. It's just got to cool down and then I can work with it again. So let me pull my iron out now. Because I think I'm done with my iron. <laughs> okay. So it's got to cool down just a little bit. Let me get it to cool down off camera. I'm just moving it around. Moving it around. Okay, so... Now we need to um, cut it so that it's straight, right? Because I don't like it to be all messy like this. I can't work like that. It has to be straight for me. So I am going to be using um, my cutter, which is this one right here. It's a Precision Cutter from Fiskars, and I freaking love it because I can straighten out things like fabric and stuff. Um, the only trick is that I do need to have cardstock underneath to cut the fabric part just to make it a little bit more stable. Like on parts right here where it's just paper on paper. It just helps stabilize it. Get my cutter in the shot now. Okay, so I just have to straighten this just because it bothers me. Cut everything except this little piece right here, which is which is fine. I could just cut that off myself then. <laughs> okay, so now actually it needs to be cut more because the paper goes into it. Let's see, let's cut this. And I try and cut it straight, of course. There's no making it straight until you make that one first cut that's straight. Okay, so now I'm going to make this part straight here. Everything get out the way. <laughs> Everything's in my way. So let's go. And I like my cutter to be on that side and then pull this way because that works better for me. This works much better. And I hope that's okay though. Yeah, it should be fine. That's why I made the markings underneath. Like I could still see where I made the mark for the outline of my cover. So I know that it'll be fine. I know like it's inside the space that it needs to be. Inside the bounds, I should say, that it needs to be. Making it a little bit easier. Okay, so. Now this piece is a little bit long. It does need to be that long, so I can't cut that. What I can do is fold this in half, and I think it'll work. I think I've done this before. I fold this in half. Perfectly in half. And then, again with a piece of cardstock. Make this even. There we go. 
perfect. Now this part is going to be folded over, so that's why I need it. So let's cut this side now. <coughs> okay, perfect. This paper cutter, though, is a lifesaver. You guys don't even know. Don't even know. Well, we got to even it out here anyways. Okay, so. Let's just get this part even, and then we're all done for tonight. So one moment. Okay, so there is our fabric cover that we'll be putting on this tomorrow. So do make sure you are here for that. That is just going to look so pretty. I can just tell. So I hope you guys join me tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for part two of this uh, junk journal cover part that we're doing here. Uh, and I want to thank everybody for joining me here tonight and everybody who joined Junk Journal Cool Kids. And if you have not, please do make sure to join my 6,000 subscriber giveaway. I will leave a link down in the description below. It ends on Monday, I believe. So do make sure and enter. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you guys and subscribe and like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.